Welcome back to CampingAndFishingCalifornia.com um, About a week to maybe three weeks ago while we were camping at uh, about 8,900 feet elevation at East Fork uh, Rock Creek just outside of Bishop We had a real problem with little, uh, little buddy Mr. Heater It would come on for about a minute then it would just die consistently over and over So I started thinking about it and um, I start thinking, you know, it's got to be the oxygen, low oxygen sensor. And so I set out upon a path to find out where that little bugger is and what to do to fix it. So first thing I did was I took this front grill off. And you can see if you just take and pull this out, pull this one out, you can take and lower this grill. You can actually pull it off all the way if you want. But I first I took and uh, blew all this out here, blew all the dust out, and uh, made sure there wasn't any garbage in there, spider webs and stuff like that. So once I blew that out, then I took and put the grill back on, went around to the back, and uh, then I took these four screws out and. Then you just gently lift up on this whole plate up like that and pull it off and you have access to a little hole in the back of the pilot area uh, inside where you'll find the low oxygen sensor. And if you just use no more than 15 or 20 pounds uh, air pressure to blow that out and then also I used a Q-tip to clean it out a little bit, um, then you can take and put all this back on. And uh, again, here's the four screws, align those holes. And um, that um, actually for us really took care of the problem. Once I did that, this thing worked like a charm, like it always does, except for one thing. Notice this switch up here is sticking out. Well, when I went to put it all back together, um, the fan wouldn't work. So I took it all apart again and messed around, made sure all the wires were hooked up. And then I thought, well, why don't I just take this switch apart and took, hook these two wires together and sure enough the fan came on. So obviously we're still up here camping. <laughs> a little overcast kind of a day, but it's just absolutely beautiful here in uh, Paha Campground. And um, since I don't have access to a switch, I just take one of these off and crosswire it with the other when we want the fan to come on and that'll work until I get home and uh, I can get a new switch on it. So that's um, pretty much what we did to fix Mr. Buddy. And like I said, we've used Mr. Buddy now for six, seven years. Um, or Mr. Heater, I, I call it Mr. Buddy, but Mr. Heater, little buddy. We've used it for six, seven years and you can see this thing is just filthy. Like I said, we've been camping for uh, four weeks now and, and uh, going on five and uh, it's been faithful it's been through a lot of uh, dirt and grime up here um, these skies are blue and and uh, cloudy right now but up to this point um, there was a bad fire on the western side of these mountains here over on the western side of Yosemite and uh, it was called the Rim Fire and uh, we have had three weeks of incredible smoke and ash over here. So it hasn't all been real pretty, but today it's just beautiful with overcast skies. And uh, just awesome. And in a few moments I'm going to step outside of this campsite and show you our campsite here. But that's it for fixing Mr. Heater, little buddy. Uh, highly recommend this unit. We've had it for six or seven years absolutely love it wouldn't go camping without it it's just a wonderful wonderful uh, item to have so that's how you fix it that's what we did and it worked great for us if you do have any questions whatsoever please contact us here at www.campingandfishingcalifornia.com and thanks again for being with us today